All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stellar Blade. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we're here with Eve, and she looks a little bored right now, but she's been chilling out between episodes here. Um, we have made it to... We, we, we got a train operating. We made it to this new area of the city, and we checked it out last time, but we ended up, unfortunately, passing away in the water. But we're not going to do that again this time, so let's cue it to music, and we'll get right back to it. So our goal is down that away, and we went like the totally opposite way that we had to go. But that's okay. We're gonna. Can I get through there? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. So we checked out all this stuff. There was some cool stuff around there that we checked out and all. Um... There's a whole camp here. I didn't even notice that before. What the hell? All right. Well, let's activate this puppy. And see if there's anything at the shop. There really doesn't seem to be much there, but we're going to keep looking. And I think we've got a new skill that we can uh, apply, so that's good. That's going to be a big help. Um, got a couple locked ones. I'm really curious to see what those are about, right? Uh, beta energy recharge is kind of neat. You know what? We're going for that. I like having that. Those beta attacks are pretty fantastic. They deal a lot of damage. Alright, he's toasted. But yeah, all the stuff we checked out in this area that we've gotten already, so we really don't need to go back that way, I don't think. We didn't really make it up there. Well, we can check that out a little bit. Let's do that. There you go, buddy. I don't know if we can get away from him or not. Um, I guess we really can't, so... We can do this, though. Killed me. That was unexpected. We handled him rather adeptly last time. Okay, well, we'll start back here. Try it again. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I do want to check out what's up there. We haven't been up there yet, so... I have a feeling there's going to be something interesting there. Uh, maybe we can avoid them all together here, huh? Yeah, look at that. Okay. Yeah, we already fought him last episode and killed him, so really... Not necessary to have another go at him. Let's see what's up here. Oh, wow. Alright, well, we knew there'd be one of you hidden in here at least. And yeah, we got another body here, right? So let's investigate him, see what we get. Maybe we'll get a beta. Ooh, passcode. Okay. Edo 7, flooded commercial sector, rear gate. Alright, nothing up there. Okay. 
There's something here, though, huh? Ooh. What is that down there? I guess we're going to have to... I think we drain this area eventually, so let's just keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, we're coming up on some baddies. I think we've pretty much explored everything else in the area. leads back up to the train station. And we got a dead guy here? Is that what I saw? An object. Damn it. Messed that up. Well, we took him down anyway. Oh, this is the code we needed. Okay, so AAU 0B0. Zero zero. I know those aren't the proper things, but that's what it looks like to me. Shopping done. Not even sure what language that is. Got another big gate up ahead. Another human down there. Not a big gate, but a big, uh... A lot of enemies up there, human. Okay, cool. A camp, that's what it is. So let's check this camp out. It's so weird how you have to get the coin and then activate it. Why not just enter the camp? I don't get that part. This one has a little roof over it? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Got the uh, Dreamcatcher. That's pretty neat. Again, nothing really interesting there. Um, skills. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. Don't know if we can do anything here. We can make the planet diving suit. We can craft it. Okay, so that's the new suit that we found. Let's do that for sure. Definitely want to change suits up. Just the appearance, right? Yeah. So that's the version two. Cool. Uh, Exospy. Increases the area of effect combat consumables. I don't know if I want to do this yet. not really using those, so yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. It's still not a single Tumblr expansion module. We're going to hold off on that um, for now. No rest. <clears throat> and then we'll move on. Adam, do you meet airborne squad members from the colony often? No, not really. Yesterday I just happened to be around the area. I've never seen such a large-scale airborne operation. Why did you save me? I'm not really sure. But it just felt right. Like I was meant to. It's hard to describe. It's just a short, intense feeling. Mm hmm. Alright, well. Pretty cool, man. So we can really uh, fast travel from here. That's nice. I like it. It doesn't seem like a feature I'll be using a lot, but maybe uh, once we start getting some side quests that are going to send us back in different areas, we'll do that. Alright, this is nothing new here.
Damn, it's a lot of them, though. The hell? Just what you'd expect from a pro. No, I would expect to do better than that, buddy, but we did okay, but yeah, not good. Alright, here we go. Combat consumables. So we got pulse grenades. Oops. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Um... Interesting. Okay. So it's the opposite. Ooh. Can we get up there? Ooh. Looks like a spot we should be able to climb, right? Maybe from the other side. No. A ladder there. We got our human. Well, oh, buddy, give us that beta core. Nope. No beta core that time. Looks like we could kind of sneak our way through there, but I guess not. All right, we're going up the ladder. <laughs> Shake it, but don't break it, Eve. Okay, so how do I do this like that? Oh, it just goes right down on the ground around me. That's the way we came up. That's over where we were. That's a bit too far for them. How about you try jumping and dashing? Oh, that didn't work out so well. Jumping and dashing. Kind of a weird combo, but okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Woohoo. That was close. Alright, I don't think we really missed anything in that area. I hope not, at least. This could be a game that you do multiple run-throughs on, though. I can see that, especially with the uh, Day 1 Edition of New Game Plus. That's kind of awesome. Well, Broski, it kind of is an apocalypse, right? Um, get it. Yeah. All right, well, let's go back here. The obvious first. There's 
stuff everywhere, enemies everywhere. But you got the water, cool. Goldfish in there or something. <laughs> we got lots of boxes here, let's tear through them. Probably don't have the code yet. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. I need a four-digit password. Yep. We'll find it. Another head. Okay. This sign reads time. Could this be connected to the clock tower? So could it be? I don't know. Let's we'll have to look at that. Let's get rid of these guys. Damn it. Can't really dodge him like that. Got him before he could actually uh, turn around on me. Is that what I think it is? Looks like I can't. Maybe. Oh, there's a body in here. No way through here, though, right? Nope. Okay. Let's dive. says the time is okay yeah I was thinking that might be the code so if you can't tell time unless it's digital you're in trouble with this game Let's see what's up here Stuff over there we can do. Can we open this up? Nope, of course not. Uh, watch out! Oh. -ho. Damn it! That thing okay? goes intended. Alright, so it looks like it is a little bit after 12, 12, um, 12, 20, 12, 19. Maybe I can't tell time. Better look at it. All right, that's the little hand up top there, right? So it's a little bit after 12, and oh, I'm sorry, it's like 12:24. There we go. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a human. Got ourselves a chair. Didn't really heal us all the way, but did a 
little something, I guess. And I guess we head up here now. All right, good deal. I can see the Hall of Records. We're almost there now. Okay, that's the Hall of Records, but we don't want to get too far ahead yet. We want to see what else we can um, find, right? That we just got into. I guess that's a dead end. Yeah. Maybe this is the route. All right, we got a camp down there and a little climbing to do over there. Anything this way? Got some bad guys this way. All right, handled them fairly nicely. Here's our buddy. Come here. Go to the orbit elevator, whatever that may be. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah, around the corner here. A lot of nooks and crannies, man. Look at all that good stuff. see any more climbable spots here, so we're going to head over this way now. Visit the camp real quick, but first, we're going up there. feel like what is that okay maybe we should stop at the camp first come on Eve all right let's give it a activate it We got one here. So I kind of like these generating more beta because then we're going to be able to upgrade our beta skills and um, we'll have the ability to generate that stuff quick enough to actually use them, right? I guess we'll get a couple of these. We seem to be making a lot of money. I don't think money is ever going to be an issue in this game, so I'm not really worried about that. I don't know if there's a max we can hold. I kind of want to maybe get us close to that, but not, you know, right at it. So that way if we do find some in the wild, we can use them. So our goal's that way, but we're going to look up here first. We got, yeah, we got some stuff to do maybe over here. doesn't feel like... Oh wait, here we go. Ah, there's the uh, door that we couldn't open before. What was the bit? That's what we're looking at there? What is... That's the clock, okay. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of little unlocks that you go through and just 
later on you hit them up and it's like, okay, now I can go through that way. I couldn't do that before. It's a victory monument. The Hall of Records is under there. over there. over there. Not really sure where... The, ooh, wait a minute. Okay. That might be leading us into the Hall of Records. I'm not sure. Good night, buddy. Let's see what our friend here has. He does seven underground of the memory tower, okay. Oh, the code to the power control room. Well, that sure is going to come in handy. Artemis 49. I scanned the connections. What is that? Let's look around the victory monument first. Okay. This is an elevator. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't like this before. It needs power. The system was put through a reset when the power was cut off. I'll have to verify the credentials once power is restored. Why don't we force our way in? Let's not do that. If the safety system goes off, we'll never be able to enter. Alright, so I assume now is when I go down. Let's just check out. Some other things real quick. Daily Grind, Bakery Restaurant, Vitamins. These stairs lead to the power control room. That's what I was thinking, Adam. And it's a little heavy handed with the hinting. Um, this is the code. Yeah, there we go. There it is. And then, okay. Fusion cell, nice. Anything up here? Fantastic. So those are very typical uh, video game things to do: is restore power, fix the gun, you know, reconnect the the uh, communications device, stuff like that. Play enough of these, you know, you know what to expect. Not giving them a hard time. It's a great game, but. Saw something over here, right? Yeah, look at that. Okay. How do I get up there? Oh, look at that. A little sneaky. Wasn't much, just a couple of those coin things, but hey. 
I don't think we can get anywhere else there. All right, well, let's, um... We've got that restored. I wonder if we can go this way now. I'm trying to avoid going down there until I have to. Yep, nope, can't. Okay. Let's look around the Victory Monument first. Yeah, yeah, I got you. We're being forced. Semi-open world, guys. We'll head down to the Hall of Records now. Off to the Hall of Records we go. <clears throat> What's with the tie on these outfits? It's kind of funny. Alright. Well, that was surprisingly... Informative? Whoa. I stand corrected. Look at this place. I can't believe we're in the Hall of Records. It's like a dream. Now, all we have to do is find the hyperdrive. Yeah, I'm sure that won't take long at all. At the start of the 22nd century, Humanity's right to life was threatened by advanced global warming. There we Having go, global warming. This, Mother Sphere ensured mankind could meet this challenge. The eons long process of natural adaptation resolved near instantly. The body cell replaced the heart and made it possible to survive in environments without oxygen or water. Well, that's cool. Thanks to advances in biotechnology and nanotechnology, the inconveniences of aging and disease were a thing of the past. This created giant leaps forward in the development of hazardous industrial spaces and space itself. We can now withstand the crushing pressures of the deepest oceans and even exit a space station without the need of a spacesuit. Well, that's kind of badass. Okay. I guess, yeah. This is so neat, man. I mean, this... Pretty impressive Humanity's looking building. and only hope for survival can be found in Mother's Sphere. Please, enjoy the harmony and prosperity of Ados 7. The first city ever built by Mother Sphere. The Mother... I have no idea what that was all about. Adam, did it make any sense to you? Mankind's past was buried with the final war. This must be a video from before that time. Uh, it says audio only, not video. Oh, wow. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. You can extract it from the hyperdrive. Should I do that? And the thing's a monster. What are we going to do? Walk around with this the rest of the game. Great. We accomplished our first objective. Yeah, I didn't think this would go unnoticed. Let's go before the emergency power runs out. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to have some combat there. Where's the cell? Oh, we got it. The hypercell. This is going to do a lot of good. Eve, thank you. Um, okay. Then, can you tell me where the Alpha Nativa is? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It isn't far. Wait a minute, where's the uh, cell? the area I've been trying to go but can't it is okay oh well look at this guy the music is pretty badass
Damn it, that hurt. Oh, I died. Okay. Wasn't really prepped up for this. <laughs> ah, we're all the way back here, but that's not too far away, so that's good. All right, we got us a boss fight on our hands coming up, and we're going to go ahead and handle that guy in the next episode. What was he, the Corruptor? Yeah, I think he was called the Corruptor. So, yeah, we're going to start it off with a bag next episode. Had I known he was there, I would have cut off before we got to him and started off the next one with a bang. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Cat to Beefy with the Game Vault. This has been another episode of Stellar Blade. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.